delving into the intricate tapestry of human relationships our discussion pivots on a subject that's as old as humanity itself marriage at the forefront of this exploration we touch on the reasons behind the rise in divorce rates examining it through psychological sociological and even evolutionary lenses as we embark on this exploration let's remember that relationships in their essence are a delicate dance of emotion logic societal norms and personal choices prepare to challenge your beliefs embrace new insights and perhaps even gain a deeper understanding of the institution of marriage this section introduces us to a startling statistic that 75% of divorces are initiated by women delving into the reasons the speaker cites straight neuroticism a heightened sensitivity to negative emotions in women making them more reactive to stress it is essential to approach this assertion with an open mind considering that individual experiences may differ but from a psychological perspective it's crucial to remember the myriad of factors influencing a woman's decision to divorce the narrative delves deeper into the implications of heightened sensitivity to negative emotions this doesn't just impact women but their partner and relationships too the speaker also emphasizes individual variances ensuring we remember that these are broad generalization and not universal truths jorum peterson paints a bleak picture suggesting that divorce can have catastrophic effects particularly economically while there is no denying that hardships that divorce can bring it's essential for beginners to understand that the narrative here is not universally applicable see there's some there's some additional problems with divorce that people don't really grasp when they're young like the idea that you can be divorced once you have children that's kind of a stupid idea cuz you can't you can you can find a limited substitute for your initial freedom but if you have kids and you try to get divorced the probability that that's going to demolish your life is very very high first of all it's incredibly expensive so one or both of you is going to come out of that poor and your market value has declined let's say you're the woman who takes the kids your market value has declined radically you're going to be poorer the man he's just as screwed because he is now an indentured servant and there's no escape from it so It's not so bad if you can negotiate a peaceful separation and some people can but lots of times if you have a terrible relationship it's not like negotiating a peaceful separation is all that easy but if you're at each other's throats good luck to you i think it's roughly equivalent to having non-fatal cancer it is not pleasant it's a 10 year process 15 year process it'll cost you $250,000 and it'll tear a big chunk out of your life and also it will really disrupt your relationship with your kids and you know you, you bring kids into a step parent family they do not do as well step parents are not as good parents as biological parents and the data on that is clear now obviously there are exceptions because there are terrible biological parents and there are wonderful step parents but if you look in aggregate it's not that easy to care for children you need everything you can binding you to them and if there's someone else's children mostly they get in the way of the person that you love right well if i'm let's say you have a child i'll be right out let's say you have a child and i want to go out with you every second you spend with that child is the second you don't spend with me and and there's going to be a price for that i'm not going to be happy about that and and if i have a child you're going to feel exactly the same way you might say well no i love children it's like yeah yeah sure sure you do I doubt it. You might love your child and and you know it's pretty specific the way that people love children. So, and the rate of abuse for kids in step parent families is way higher than it is in biological families. There's not even any comparison. Jorum Peterson discusses the challenges of blending families after a divorce. The assertion here is that step parenting comes with its unique set of hurdles, backed up by data on child welfare in step families. Yet it's essential to approach these insights with nuance, recognizing that many factors contribute to a child's well-being. The essence of our discussion orbits around the multifaceted intricacies of relationships with marriage at its apex center from the roles that evolutionary psychology might play in the dynamics of modern relationships to the tangible and intangible repercussions of divorce the narrative offers a panoramic view of the human experience in love and commitment at its core the discussion underscores the importance of communication compromise and understanding while we may be products of our evolutionary history 
we are also authors of our stories, capable of redefining norms and crafting relationships that reflect our individual truths. On this journey, it's essential to approach these insights with an open heart, drawing from them what resonates and always being willing to forge our path. As relationships continue to evolve in the face of changing societal norms, may we always strive for understanding, growth and genuine connection.